All right, guys. John Joseph, Realtor here. We're gonna make a video. My ceiling was leaking and I couldn't really figure out where it was coming from. So I wanted to, I did finally figure out, but I wanted to show you guys. So in case anybody has the same scenario, it'll probably save you guys from a big headache. So you guys, but I already took the drywall down where the leaks were. But as you can see, this post right here is what was leaking. And there's no uh, toilet connection, no shower connection. So I really couldn't figure it out till I left this open. We actually fixed it twice thinking it was a toilet and then realized that it was coming from somewhere else. So this time I decided to leave it open and see where the drip was coming from while my kids went to the shower, sink, toilet. And eventually I realized it's coming from the shower. You guys can see that little spot right there. Well, I'll show you upstairs when the shower runs where it's leaking through and coming down. I want to show you guys this in case you guys ever had the same situation and you can't really narrow it down. It's so weird because I kept thinking it was from the toilet and I realized from the shower. So let me go upstairs and show you guys. All right guys, so here we are in the shower and I want to show you guys where the leak is coming from. So we're going to get as much close as possible. But if you look in here in the corner of the frame that holds a sliding glass, it's hard to see, but kind of right here where my finger is, there's a little hole in the silicone. And what's happening is the water's coming from there, going down through here, coming down through here, and you can see where the baseboard is wet and the water's leaking through here. I finally narrowed it down when my son was taking a shower and I saw the drip coming down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this up a little bit and then we're gonna apply some silicone. So I went to Home Depot and I bought this uh, GE Advanced Silicone from Lowe's. And like I said, we're just gonna take a little razor blade, clean that out in that corner right here in the slot, right here where this is. And then we'll, I, didn't, I asked my kids not to take a shower for two days. So we're gonna put a little silicone in there and then we're going to um, let it dry for, it says, I think it's three to four hours, but I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours just to be sure since we got some cold weather. Um, that's about it guys. Maybe I'll show you after I clean it out and put it on there, but it's not too much, you know. Uh, maybe I can show you while I'm putting it on there. In any case, let me uh, go ahead and clean that out. Just gonna get a little razor blade and clean in the, the little slot right there. All right guys, so here I am. I got my razor blade. I'm going here a little bit, not too much. Well, I'll just show you guys where I'm at. Just to clean this out, you can see a little gap right there. It's kind of hard, but that's where the gap is. So I'm gonna clean that out. Just wanted to show you how, like with this, a little bit in and out. And once I get it done, I'll go ahead and re-silicone it, but just kind of want to give you guys an idea where I'm at, what I'm doing. All right, guys, I applied a new layer of silicone. Not that great, but it's in there in the crevices. So we're gonna let it dry for 24 hours and then we'll have the kids take a shower, see if it leaks again before I seal up the seal. 